86-year-old Tolofisa Gubia is a resident of Nakabogo in Mukono district where she has lived since 1960. She was one of the hundreds of mourners at St. Philip and Andrew Cathedral in Mukono who came to pay their respects to the deceased former Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Livingstone Palanyi Nkoyoyo. Gubia, who was a close neighbor to Nkoyoyo, vividly remembers when she first heard of the story of the former Archbishop picking interest in her neighborhood. She also remembers the Archbishop as a person who loved his neighbors and the elderly. This morning hundreds of mourners flocked to St. Philip and Andrew Cathedral in Mukono to attend a funeral service for the late Archbishop Livingstone in Palanyi Koyoyo, who had previously served as the Bishop of Mukono Diocese. The late Nkoyoyo's family and close friends eulogized him as a man who loved people and one who always preached about reconciliation and development. All in all, I'd like to thank Jaja Sebo for his presence in our lives. It has been a blessing and we'll miss him all and may he receive this. He was a man who could fit in all levels of people. Some of us were very young. We are not too holy, but he could put you in positions whereby you are able to serve your God. In his speech, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Stanley Ntagali, praised the former Archbishop as a man who loved God and even continued to serve him after retirement. Tired, but continue to be active even for the church. Praise the Lord. There are not many people who do that. Some will retire and they don't know what to do. For him, he planned for his own retirement. He was busy on personal level, on family level, he was equally busy on church uh, issues. General Katumba Amala, who represented the central government, spoke of the late Archbishop as a man who did not discriminate as he diligently served everyone, including people from other religious denominations. <laughs> The former Archbishop who served at the helm of the Anglican Church in Uganda for nine years will be laid to rest on Tuesday at the Martyr's Shrine in Namgongo. Suhail Mugabe, NTV.